campus that there are many businesses, that there are many people, that there are many livelihoods that are affected by this strike. Union members are demanding a 77% wage increase over six years, with top pay climbing from $39 an hour to $69. Also calling for a total ban on the automation of cranes, gates, and container moving trucks used in loading or unloading of freight. The United States Maritime Alliance has once again responded, now offering nearly a 50% pay hike. The Port of New York, New Jersey, one of the nation's busiest, preparing. We have been taking countless precautionary steps to speed up the process of unloading these ships and, and deal with the container cargo containers in advance of this. President Biden saying he does not plan to intervene, which he has the power to do so, saying it is collective bargaining. Melissa Adon, ABC News, Los Angeles. Well, as for the Key Bridge, things are moving forward on the rebuilding process. People who live and work in Turner, State, Turner Station, which is the closest neighborhood to the bridge, came out tonight to hear about plans for the future. WMER 2 News' Maria Morales was there. Renwick Glenn has lived in Turner Station all his life. That's 62 years. And he clearly remembers when the dolly hit the Key Bridge on March 26th. When the bridge collapsed, it shook the whole neighborhood. So any explosions out there affects the infrastructure within this community. Glenn was among those who listened as representatives from the Maryland Department of Transportation presented plans to rebuild the bridge. Uh, we want to be transparent, uh, so we want to share these regular updates. Uh, and as the project milestones come and go, we can present those and, and, and be available to answer any questions you may have. Like Charmaine Aponte, who asked if anyone from Turner Station is on the Key Bridge Planning Committee. Um, it ends up that they're pretty much just stopping by to tell us what they're going to do without our input. Representatives say they'll be back to give updates and hear feedback. In Turner Station, Maria Morales, WMAR 2 News.